Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastitudes.com. In this tutorial I will be demonstrating my thought process and my design approach to a leaflet layout. Now before I start to put together my InDesign document, after reading all the text and understanding what the client wants to contain in the leaflet, I might want to think about what I am going to design in response to the brief. To visualize and organize my thoughts and furthermore communicate my initial design idea to the client, I am going to create what is known in the industry as a scamp. So what is a scamp? Well, a scamp is simply a drawing or a sketch. It's a response to the brief and it represents my design, my thinking and my creative solution. I can use this to help shape build and visualize my ideas and they can be really helpful to communicate ideas to clients. It can take a long time to put together a composition in InDesign and sometimes it's a lot quicker to draw out your thoughts and this will really help communicate your intentions visually to a client and quickly highlight any issues the client may have before actually going to computer to produce the work. Plus, it's always better to take time and think about your designs on paper first before jumping onto the computer. After all, designs should be thought-led and not computer-driven. So then, time to get your pens out. Now, a scamp can be anything from a simple doodle on a handkerchief to a full-colour rendered masterpiece. It all depends on how much time you have and how much you want to communicate visually but they must be clear enough to show what you want to achieve, to get the point across. So let me demonstrate my SCAMP approach to this project. By the way, if you wish to take a closer look at this SCAMP, it's included in the SCAMP folder, in the complete folder, in the downloadable project folder. Link is in the description. So I'm going to start on page 1. So here you can see a little drawing. So I first started to think about how my leaflet would work. How was it going to fold? Was it going to be a double-sided print? Or was it going to be a booklet? So I decided I would make an A5 leaflet that would fold in on itself. So once opened, you would have to open out another page to reveal three pages. This could create a nice surface area to present a nice spread of images perhaps. Also, this would create an interesting flow where I can control the information presented to the reader. So this was a little doodle I did to visualize to myself the structure of the leaflet. So nothing special, just a little drawing. This one was just for myself. So next on page two of the PDF, I started to think about layout. After reading all the text and looking at the images, it was time to think about how they would be placed on the page. But how and where would I place them? So I sketched out a page layout and started to draw frames in areas I thought images and text could be placed to get a feel of my potential composition and see what might work. Now it's important to note that I did this several times with several different approaches. This is just one example that I have included as an example for you to see. And by this, you can start to see where I am planning to place my text, images, and my text table. Again, this drawing is purely for my benefit. So once I was confident and found a route I was happy with, it is time to compose a scamp of this layout in full for the client. So now on page three, you can see a much more refined version. I have spent a little bit more time on this and this time used a little bit of color. So the original image planned for the cover is a man on a motorbike and it's in full color. You can see an example of this. Uh, it's in the start folder in the downloadable project folder. But I am thinking of manipulating the image changing it to black and white and bringing out uh, the green colour in the bike. 
I also would like to crop the image and compose it in this way and set the text in the top left like so. And also use a green from the, for the words CBR to relate to the green in the image. Lastly, I would like to put the Honda logo in the bottom right like so. Next to this is an example of how I see the first open spread working. I would like to take the motorbike image and create a grid like so, zooming in to certain parts of the bike to appreciate the beauty of the bike and perhaps have these in various colours. The page next to this would have some nice bold typography, each line in a different colour and the copy composed in two columns below, separated perhaps by a stroke keyline. On the next PDF page, I have a drawing of how I see the inside open spread working. Again, we have the grid of images on the far left, but this time the next page would feature some images of CBR bike models, composed like so, with some copy going across the width of the page on top. The far right page would perhaps be half black with a table inside in white, with two images composed to the right of this showing the front and back of the bike. And finally, on the last PDF page, we can see the back page. For this, I would like to compose another black and white image on the top, but this time bringing out the yellow. Under this would be further copy with a header in yellow to complement the image above. There would be a graphic and text list composed like so, with the logo and contact details composed at the bottom. So with this scamp, you should get a good idea of what I have in mind for the composition of the leaflet and how I see it working. After showing this to the client, he was very happy. So it's now time to take this design into InDesign and start to build it. So this scamp is going to make my job in Adobe InDesign so much easier. Here I have a solid, decisive idea that I can use as a reference as I begin to build my InDesign composition. So let's move on to the next video and learn how to set up my document in Adobe InDesign. So I'll see you in the next video.